Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and do you believe I am finally doing a video? It's not a Gypsy Made Simple. Uh, again, I'm short time, uh, but I do have some tags, and I promised you that we we're going to share some tags. So I thought I'd throw together a couple Christmas tags, and um, what I got out was my cuddle bug. I got out my Creative Time Emma's Tag Dies, and I'm going to run that through my cuddle bug. I've got just the regular C A and C, I mean C A B and C plate, and I'm going to run it through, and it probably will make a little bit of noise. Hopefully, it's tight enough. I like to run it through a couple times to make sure that it cuts all the way through. Now, I did, um, I did tape it down so that my paper wouldn't move because it seems like I was I was um, let's see how I've got it taped down I kept moving the paper when I was doing it so and you know what I did it upside oh no it turned out perfect look at that but I'm going to run it through twice as I want to back this back this up so let me show you what I did is I just took my my uh, little sheet of paper I put the tag down, real simple, just took a little piece of tape, enough to just position it so that when I was putting it in the machine, I didn't move the paper and, and didn't crumple it up in that, okay? So, and we'll run it through again a couple times. And I'm just doing this again. I, it seems like I haven't turned my expression on in so long, or my gypsy, and they're probably lonely. But unfortunately, with things are the way they are, and that didn't cut very good. on it. I've been having trouble with this die. I'm about to contact Emma because I think I've got a defective one. Because most of the time it doesn't. I shouldn't say that. It's probably because I'm using a lightweight paper because that's what my scrap is there. And I want to get this one off too. And it's just catching on the end, so it must be this lightweight paper. We'll try a heavier paper the next one because I'm going to do another die also. Um, and we'll just put that together. Okay, throw that in the garbage. And what I'll do is I'll just put them back to back like that and put them together so that we've got a thicker, you know, thicker dye and I have them colored on both sides. So now, the other piece I want to try, and it's a Design Cuts with a View, it's a metallic paper. And um, these are going to be super simple um, tags. Okay, and again, we're going to put the die down, and I reserve the piece of tape this time. We'll put the die down, put it on so it doesn't roll off. Back into the cuddle bug, and see this is a thicker paper. Yeah, I can tell by the way it's going through, it's a thicker paper. We'll run it back and forth a couple times just to be make sure that we've got it. Oh yeah, cut right through this time. Must be just my thin paper. No, it didn't cut through. And you saw how tight that was. Hmm. There. Oh, it, it came right off. It came right off. And I'm going to run another one through also because on um, the other one I, I don't think I will. Use my scissors. I'm going to cut this. There we go. 
and I'll reserve that other one. There we have a couple tags. Let's put our cuddle bug aside because I'm not going to use it anymore. I just love crafting and I want to tell you, I really miss this. This is so hard to have all these things going on in the family and not be able to do the things. Yeah, you know what? I love being with my mom, so I'm not going to complain. I'm just thankful that I have, I do believe I have this stuck to my, there we go. Okay. And let me get this put together, all my parts, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let me show you what I'm doing. Basically what I'm doing is just using my stamp sets and the, and the cuddle bug and my dies and trying to be able to get uh, my tags out in a timely fashion. And what I used is I used this one. Now this is designed to be used with the Art Philosophy um, cartridge. And it's got all these uh, little stamps where you can you cut it out and it gives the size. It's a three inch Christmas tree. Well, what I did is I cut, I, I um, stamped on colored paper and then I fussy cut it, cut it rather than run it through my machine because I just didn't have the time to be able to put everything all together, you know. So what I did was that. And I am um, I grabbed a couple stamp sets, and by the way, this is the fill-in-the-blank holiday. Uh, it's an older one from close to my heart. And then I got another stamp set um, that's this year's. The It's the um, Pear and a Partridge Scrapbooking Workshop uh, out of that one. And I'm going to stamp in the background this little Christmas tree on the back in a different color and then I'm going to put the Christmas tree on well this Christmas tree is going to go on here and then I'm going to put this Christmas tree on the front and I'm going to stamp it in this um, sweet leaf green so we'll do that in just a minute but I need to get some pop dots so excuse me and I'll be right back okay I'm putting together the two tags here uh, the two purple tags and I used my zip dry glue and I'm just putting a little putting them together putting a little glue on it and I use the zip dry because you can move them around a little bit and that's important to make sure that all your ends match up really nice which they do almost And because I've got a little bit of white there on the edges, you know, where the lines meet up, I'm going to take a little bit of my, um, let's see, I've got some close to my heart. It says the color is Gypsy, and it's a purple. And I'm going to do it, Charlotte, a little bit of detail, shared this, she says, just do it like this and it works out really good and look at it is and I'm just getting a little purple on the edge so the the white edge there doesn't show up you know and that's all I want to do it gives a little bit more of a finished look to it you know and I have to wait till I show you what I did you're gonna love it. Okay, let me close this up. Now, in my hole a little bit, I've got a little bit of white because, of course, I didn't flip the die I should have uh, to get the back and the front, you know. And, oh, I'm trying not to get this on my fingernails and I did not succeed. I got it on my fingers. Baby wipes are wonderful things, aren't they? Okay. Now what I want to do, and I picked out, and I have to find it again, this little Christmas tree. And I wanted something contrasting. And so I grabbed this uh, Christmas tree, and it's on, let's see, what's the name of it? It's on the Pear and Partridge Scrapbooking Workshop. 
and all I'm going to do is put that in the background and then I, I'm going to put the oh, wrong tree I've got the other tree over here somewhere it's buried and I also want to do um, and I've got um, let's see which one did I pull that from I've got so many stamp sets going I can't even tell you um, I don't know it just says Merry Christmas on oh right here Merry Christmas and this is from the Pear and Partridge card making workshop and I want to put this up there but I'm going to put that in black so I've got that and I use this I just grabbed the stays on because it was nice and close and I got the stays on because the other material that I have is kind of shiny and I'm going to use the same uh, on that the Merry Christmas and so we'll stamp both of them Merry Christmas I hope my hair is not in the way it's such a mess I was just outside got a telephone call from hubby saying meet me for lunch so I left you ladies isn't that perfect I left you ladies and I went to lunch with my handsome hubby I don't get to do that very often so it was kind of nice but I did get caught in a lot of wind and I hurried upstairs here to get back with you and I did not comb my hair so it's all over the place and we've got the Merry Christmas there very nice very nice and I need a fresh baby wipe that one got dry while I was gone I'll get that scrubbed up Mm -mm -mm. I like the smell of the stays on. It's got a very pretty smell to it. And it was the jet black. Okay, and let's put another baby wipe on. Clean it off a little bit. And this one's wet, so that'll work. Oh, it's pretty well cleaned off. Okay. Merry Christmas, and we'll set that aside and put that away later. And I did the purple. It's called Gypsy. Set that aside. I've got so many things going here. Now, I just wanted to be able to add a little more green to this. And so the, um, the um, Christmas tree that I used here, I used and put some brads. I pierced you know punch the little holes in it put some brads on but that is the same color as this so what I wanted to do is just so that I have a little more green in there is I'm going to put a tree in the background And so it just puts a little green in there, but you can't really make out what it is in there. Adds a little green like a shadow. And that's all I wanted it for was a shadow. And it worked out great. So it did the job I needed, the trick I needed to do, or job, whatever you want to say. Close that up. Now, uh, all I'm going to do is put the Christmas tree there with a little glue on it on the background and I'm going to glue it down I had two trees I, I, um, I did two trees and then I fussy cut them and then I pop dotted them so there's plenty of dimension there and that green that I stamped on will look like a shadow which is exactly what it does so we'll put that on there Making Christmas tags are fun, and I'll tell you what, mine are usually plain. I use the Very Merry tags, and I'm going to show you a couple of them uh, from before, or one that I found that I used a year or two ago. Very Merry tags has got some Christmas tree tags that are as cute as can be. And I'm groping because I'm looking for one. Uh, here it is. Look at this. 
Isn't that pretty? And all I did was cut it out, stickle that. I need to put a ribbon on there. But that's done, and I never used it from uh, a couple years ago, so I've got a Christmas tag there. And I'm going to go through all these different tags that are out there. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is, and you can be so creative. And I thought I'd better get a little bit more creative, because I'm going to tell you what. The tags that you ladies sent in put my tags to shame. And I'll be sharing them in the next video on this post and you're gonna love them but I figured I better make a tag in the process so that you could see that and I'm not gonna bother putting that away now I'm just gonna move it aside excuse me sorry about that you're not gonna believe what happened I oh I forgot to put the I thought I did the tag on that oh I did I did we had a new air conditioner put in. Remember a couple months ago, new air conditioner? And here in Alabama, it's called a heat bump. So your unit does the heating and the air conditioning. Well, guess what? It got cold the other night. Hubby woke up in the, and was freezing. So he went to put the air conditioning on. I mean, not the air conditioning. The heat on, there was no heat. So now my heat guy's coming over. And this is the brand new unit that was put in, so he thinks that they didn't turn something on or they haven't got something hooked up just right. So they're coming over. So that's what that phone call was. So, but the good news is, is that they're coming over. And they'll fix it and we'll have heat this winter. And then, of course, today it's hot as all get out. And I'm just going to move this to the side. Put that like that. And I did the same thing where I popped on it in between as you can see there see that okay and um, so I've got that on there and then what I want to do is just grab a little bit of look at this box this ribbon box I've got all kinds of um, ribbons in here and goodies and mm -mm -mm, all kinds of good stuff and look at this one. This one's perfect for the purple. Matter of fact, I used this once before with the purple. And if I can find the end, let's just grab a bunch of that. And that'll be for the purple one. Okay, we've got that. And then we need something for the gold. And probably the red here. Because I've got the red accent. See that? It's like a burnt red. We'll use a little bit of this. And since it's right out here at the top, we'll use that. And I'll just cut that piece right there. And we can get that one of these days. This is a project, as you can see, that I have to do. I don't have everything organized, ladies. I am still working on it. I tell you what, keeping a craft room organized, that's a full-time job, isn't it? And I'm going to keep it simple because I like to tie my gift right onto the ribbon that I put around the gift. So I, um, all I do is put it in there. And all my tags have the same thing. Put it in like that. Now wasn't this easy? And didn't that turn out cute? And then I trim them when I tie it on my gift. I trim it. So this is good for now. It's just perfect. Okay. And let's do the purple one. And we'll do the same thing. Where I'm just going to stick it through. And then I have plenty of space to just tie my tag. There we go. Now, let's put the, all this goody stuff aside here. That's as simple as can be. Isn't that cute as can be? Tags. And of course, I always, I always tell you that you need to... And Do I have a black marker and a black pen here? No. Yes, I do. Here. I sign it. I just put Sheila 2012. Sheila 
2012. And those tags are done. And that was really fast, wasn't it? And considering I didn't have a clue what I was going to do, that's not too bad. Now, I put that ribbons aside. And remember, I have this one here. I should have enough of that red or white. Let's just do white with that. White's right on top. Oops, almost closed up the little deer. And in no time at all, the tags are ready. And like I said, this is a tag that when I was going through, and I was going through my scrap paper, I couldn't believe it. I found that tag there, and I thought, wow, I can share that with you folks. This is, the timing was absolutely perfect. So, that's ready. Okay, ready to die in. Okay. Thank you for joining me today, and come back, or not come back, just go check the next video, because I'm going to share all these little tags with you. Bye now.